Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey, and today we're gonna to be touring the island of Sill Farm by Direct Paradise over on Instagram. If you're not familiar with Direct Paradise, I will put their link down in the description below, but their Instagram has been inspiring me for quite a long time now. I was super nervous to ask to tour their island, and I'm incredibly honored that they allowed me to tour. Their islands are absolutely stunning. This is going to be a farm core island. It does have some natural terraforming. It's absolutely beautiful. I haven't seen a farm core island in quite a while, so I can't wait to show this to you. I'm going to be touring with a wide angle camera because this content creator makes beautiful terraforming and I wanna be able to show that all to you. Okay, so taking a look at the map, it looks like we have all squirrel villagers. Ioni, Filbert, Nibbles, Caroline, Marshall, Peanut, Sally, Blair, Tasha, and Poppy. Such a great set of villagers. And if you look at the map, this already looks so good. The terraforming in the front, everything looks beautiful. I can't wait to see. Let's go and see what's going on here. I'm going to start to the left. That seems to be the direction I've been heading in lately and it's been working for me. So let's just go to the left. We're gonna be coming up to our Nook's Cranny. Nook's looks very cozy. It looks like a really small hometown corner shop. And I love that. I'm working on my slow walk, guys. Look how good this looks, so cute. The beach in front is decorated. It has a little pumpkin patch, this cute little table right here, and then this little pond with the Kuropi snack as our little froggy, and I love using those, and the toy duck. I also love the toy duck. So great use of items over there. And if I move over to this river mouth, you'll see there's a little ravine off to the right over there, and if we go this way, then it looks like there's a strawberry farm that I'm trying to get to. So in the little strawberry patch, everything looks so cute. I love these little potted plants right here as decor. And then there's a little farm going on right here. And the terraforming again, you guys, the terraforming always looks so good on these islands. So coming up this incline, I just wanted to show you this ravine right here. Look how good that looks. That looks absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous and it's right next to Resident Services. We're gonna go a little bit right right here and I'm gonna give you a view of Resident Services. With all of the terraforming surrounding it, it looks absolutely amazing. Their terraforming is so good, you guys, and their most recent island actually is very heavily terraformed and so good. I highly recommend going and checking it out. Did choose to tour this island instead of the most recent one just because this one is not fall and the most recent one seems to be set in fall. So I will ask to tour that one a little bit later if they will allow me. But here is our museum tent and look how good it looks in this little duck pond surrounded by wheat fields. Everything is such a vibe here. The view is amazing. I'm gonna come down this incline over here just to see what's going on on the beach over here. It looks like we have a little fish market and the second river mouth over here. I don't normally go for two south facing river mouths because I'm not that good at river mouths and this looks amazing. So maybe, maybe I'll try it one day. We will see. That looks so good. So we're gonna keep going. If we head back in this direction, we are gonna go back to the airport. So I am going to go up. There's this little diagonal path right here and I love this code that turns the dirt path into a diagonal path. And if we go this way, we have another view of a beautiful farm and it looks like a little picnic or a dinner out kind of situation going on down there. It looks so good. All of this looks beautiful. All of the decor is stunning. Everything they chose goes so well on this island. They have an amazing eye for color as well as just being good at terraforming and just about everything in Animal Crossing. There's a little incline over here that I'm going to follow down. I'm gonna come into this area that we just saw first because 
The little doorsteps and the little entryways to these villager houses are so sweet and so cute. I love how they're fenced in and this little gate is so cute right here. That's amazing. And I also love when people use this and they turn it sideways to be kind of like an open door. That's always such a great idea. I love the way the garden wagon looks just peeking up from behind that fence right there. It just looks really good. And then if we come over here, there's a little farm and then this picnic set up on a beautiful blanket. It just looks amazing. I'm going to come down over here to the beach to see what's going on over here because the beaches are decorated on this island, which I love. And there's a little pumpkin and melon patch over here. That looks so good. I love the code underneath them. And then we're going to head down over here to a little relaxation spot. Super cute with this little log bordered dirt path. Always looks so cute. And then we have a flower garden over here with Miss Sally keeping an eye on it. That looks so pretty as well. Our pier over here is also beautifully decorated. I love that. Look how gorgeous it looks just with the rug and the seating. It's such a beautiful little moment right there. This is so beautiful. And it looks like there's a little flower shop over here or a flower area leading to our campsite. Wow. And then we have more crops, which are so appropriate in this island. And our peninsula continues on a little bit of that farming with some starter crops going on right there. And then we have a wheat field in the back. This looks so good, you guys. I've never thought to do anything like this, even when I did try FarmCore. I did never thought to do that with my peninsula, and it's amazing. I love seeing how creative people can be, and Direct Paradise, absolutely amazing at decorating islands. All of the islands that I've seen from them look stunning, and this one is no different. We're going to head on back over here. We have a little chicken coop over here and a little cow farm, which is so cute, set in the wheat with a little barn behind it. Look at the chicken coop up top with the little stardew chickens in there. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. Wow, that's so creative. I can't believe that. That looks so good. So we're gonna go back up the incline and make our way over here. There's a little wheat field going on and a bridge. I always love when there's a bridge right here that's right in the middle of a land bridge. And it looks like there's like a little town center, villager neighborhood back there that we're gonna get to, I'm sure, in just a few minutes. We have some little stray rams over here. I love the dormant volcanoes giving some landscape in the distance they look really good but even close up they look pretty darn good but look at the little rams and then we have our little dogs herding the sheep oh my gosh that is so cute and i love the way this fencing is set up it does look really good you kind of have to shimmy your way through but it does look amazing and then we can make our way over here to the little pasture with all of the rest of the sheep slash rams. Super cute. I love this. Everything here looks so good and so appropriate. We have the Able Sisters right over here looking like a moment. And then we have our blathers that we saw a little bit earlier and this is where he is nestled inside of his own little island archipelago paradise over here with all of the little ducks i love how we have the grown-up duck with the little ducklings following behind and each of them in their own little puddles that looks super cute super natural and beautiful and i love it back to resident services Resident Services is surrounded by the most beautiful terraforming. We're going to go ahead and go across this bridge in the back and see what the rest of the island has to offer. It looks like the first thing we're going to see is a little apiary and I love the storefronts extending the house. 
that always looks really good to me and I love when people do that. But the little honeybee models, it looks so good with all of the little bees around. Over here we have a little carrot farm with the bunnies invading the carrots. I love that. And these are two villager houses next to each other with the storefronts connecting them. It does look so good. And over here we have the orange flowers just to set off the orange of the carrots and the pumpkins that they're growing over here and I love that as well. So this path over here is going to lead to another villager's house and they have what seems like a little farm to table. So they have little plants and starts that they are selling and then they have a little noodle shop over to the side, which I love. So this would be the food court area of the island, the farm to table area of the island. And over here they're selling some yummy curries, which I love and a cornucopia is over here. And then we have our household goods that is being sold by this villager right here. That's such a cute setup and super creative. And if you look at the way the villagers houses are set up, it really does look just like this beautiful little neighborhood, a little two story neighborhood, and it looks so good. So we're gonna go up this incline and before I even get to that view, I'm gonna come over here because I know we're about to be wowed and I just wanna, I wanna see some other things first. So this is a beautiful pink garden in front of this villager's house. I do love this little log path right here, this dirt and log path, super cute. And we have a tomato farm over here and I do love the little flowers kind of making like little sprouts and weeds and starts. It looks really good. There's a peanuts house over here and that is super appropriate as well. So let's go back over here and prepare our hearts and eyes to see this. Look at the sugarcane farm. That's it. That's all I have to say. Just look at it. It's so beautiful with those bushes, the textures. <gasps> Hang on, I had to go get a better view, but look at all of this. This is so magical. And I love that the cliff in front of it is kind of connecting to the farm below. I don't usually see that and I'm super impressed by the way that that was managed with the little diff varying height bushes and trees get looking like little bushes and blending right in and all of the monarch butterflies. Wow. That's all I have to say. Wow. I've never seen farm core done quite in this way and this is such an impressive view just right here. I know it's a flat, but oh my gosh, it's so beautiful and the setting with the water. This is like chef's kiss. Super stunning. I love it beautiful barn with an absolutely stunning rooftop. It looks like there is nature going on up there. It's absolutely gorgeous. This two-tiered barn, so well put together. Again, just a really impressive little moment with the water in the back. Just incredibly beautiful because it's not a farm island without an absolutely magnificent wheat field. I love that so, so much. So we're gonna come back across this land bridge over here and move along this other side over here. And we're gonna go down this way. This little walkway is so cute with the plain party light arches leading down to the beach back here. It looks really good. And then we're gonna follow this little path over here that's going to lead to another little wheat farm. And it's stunning. Oh my goodness. Holy terraforming. Look at this. It's so good. So beautiful. Again, we have the terraforming up on the cliff, matching the terraforming down here and kind of blending in. I never see that and it looks so amazing. I'm definitely getting a lot of inspiration. I do want to do a farm core island someday, and this has all the inspiration over here. So up here we have the overlook, and this is what it looks like in full scale. It looks so good, so amazing. Wow. 
It's just beautiful and it makes my heart smile. It's so good. Look at this. This is three tiers, you guys. Three tiers and it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so the view from the third tier is even more amazing than the view I've seen down below. This is absolutely stunning. I love the little glowing moss right here when you run through and it gives off just that little magical kind of sparkle. And look at this. This is so, so good. Wow. And now I'm going to cross another land bridge and I have a feeling that I'm about to be wowed again. There's an incline right there, but I'm not going to go down the incline. No, no, no. We're going to come over here and we're going to look at this maze of amazingness right here. Maze of amazing. That is what we're going to call it. Wow. This is one of the images that they have over on their Instagram where they put up their dream address when they announced it. And this is so good. Look at that. This view right here is what made me want to tour the island. I wasn't even expecting the other two views, but this one right here, absolutely stunning little mush farm. I love that. Down the incline, that was the entire back of the island. We're gonna come down the incline and here we have a beautiful lavender and mum fields. Wow, this is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning with this beautiful dirt path just winding through. It's gorgeous. What I just, I don't know. I don't know how if I can say any other words except wow. The entire time I'm going through this island, all I'm saying is wow everywhere I go. It's absolutely amazing. And then on the beach, of course, the beach is decorated. Look how beautiful it is. There's a little puppy having a picnic. There's Blair and she's such a cutie. And then over here, there's this cute little path over here that leads to this back area with a duck pond and the ducks are so cute. And then a little mum farm over here and look how pretty that is. Wow, gorgeous. Stunning, beautiful, all of the words. It's beautiful, it's perfect. This island is perfection. I can't imagine a single thing that could be done differently to make this more beautiful. This is the most beautiful farm core island I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm so impressed right now. This path that leads to the side of the ravine, so good. Gorgeous. It goes along the top right here and all of the water. So that is it for this island tour. It makes me incredibly sad to say that we have reached the end of the island, but it doesn't have to completely end. You can go follow Direct Paradise over on Instagram. Their Instagram is absolutely inspiring and you should definitely go and check it out. The link to the Instagram along with the dream address will be down in the description below. Thank you so much to Direct Paradise for allowing me to tour your stunning, stunning island. I highly appreciate it so, so much. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I know you can be anywhere in the internet and you chose to hang out with me for a little bit of your time and I always appreciate that. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.